what we need, really need to grasp here is that is that this is about not uh, the, this is not about the condition of the person; it's about the person with the condition. So you can have two people uh, take the two rugby players, Matt Hampson and Daniel James. Daniel James uh, paralysed, finds his life intolerable, goes to Dignitas. Matt Hampson, with an even worse disability on a ventilator, is an inspirational speaker going around schools who did everything he could to, to change Daniel's position. So we've got to understand that this is very much about the... Uh, the person with the condition and their and their attitude, and it, it's not about unbearable suffering or pain. In in Oregon, just 23% of people cite pain or even fear about future pain as the means uh, as as the reason for ending their lives. It's well well down the list of categories. Number one is autonomy, 93%. Number two is loss of enjoyment of life, 89%. Number three is loss of dignity, 73%. In Washington, the neighbouring state, 61% uh, end their lives because of fear of being a burden. Uh, the figure in Oregon is 49%. Now, these are not physical symptoms. These are existential symptoms. These are, these are symptoms about loss of meaning and purpose. And I think to take the step to uh, allow people to have, uh, to ingest lethal drugs for, for what are, in a sense, existential symptoms, uh, most of which could be uh, improved by good palliative care or much better support, uh, would really be the ultimate abandonment.